What is going on beautiful people? It's your boy Blue and this is a first look at the Tolis A320 Neo for X-Plane 12. We have been waiting a long time for this one and I am excited to fly it. What you are seeing and hearing now is an early beta version, so some features may change before release. But to list a few notable features coming with the new Tolis A320 Neo, we have animated ground services for DIC and baggage loaders, the ability to use the mouse wheel for manipulating light switches, rework of the Tolis interactive control system, which can now be resized, thank God, opening cockpit windows and tray tables, cabin light dimming, sim brief integration, plus all the normal Tolis features like random failures, flight auto saving, in-screen pop-ups, independent MCDU, SIDSTAR and VNAV, etc, etc. So one of my personal favorite features of this new Tolis A320 Neo is the new Tolis window. We can now open the ISCS screen. It has a very brand new look to it. Start from the situation and aircraft config. If you are familiar with Tolis's uh, previous aircraft, it looks very similar as far as the way things are laid out. Uh, all the same options are here and mostly in the same place that you would expect them to be. Uh, we also have our you know, situation aircraft config. We can save and load situations or even load up an auto save. Uh, load performance for loading you know performance like your passengers cargo fuel things like that ground services for your external power your chocks uh, all of your pushback options opening and closing doors your faults and scenarios so this is where you can set up your random failures your sound and add-on accounts so this is where you'll set up your sim brief id your hoppy cpdlc log on all your sound settings and then we have our joystick actions here you can set up your preferences on whatever joystick you are using like setting up your detents for your throttle and then lastly we have our general settings again this is very similar to how it was it's a nice new design you can also resize this which is a big deal for me you can have it as massive as you want or as small as you want and you could obviously also pop it out another pretty cool feature is the animated de-icing feature you can see here we now have a couple of de-icing trucks rolling up to the aircraft. Now, obviously, uh, you would not want to have the cargo bay doors or anything open on the aircraft when doing this, but this is a new feature that comes along with the A320neo. You don't get any options on choosing what type of fluid. Uh, it just kind of defaults to a, whatever fluid it decides to do, but it's a pretty cool feature um, to have set. I'm not sure if you'll actually be able to see you know, ice being removed or falling off the aircraft or any kind of water or wetness, you can kind of see that nice green color coming out there of the of the uh, the hoses, but that's about it. But it's a pretty cool feature to have. I think it'd be really nice to do this in the winter. Convey the said departure on line at Squawk 0064. All right, clear to uh, Denver International via the Eons 8, climb via Sid, Squawk 0064, number 16 Bravo.
Because this is in beta and also my first time seeing it, I'm not in a position to rate or review this aircraft, but it does look very, very promising. So I'm looking forward to logging hours in it. There's one thing I can promise you, and that is there will be many flights, many videos, and many live streams. A lot of good times to be had in this plane. I can't wait. But thank you so much for watching. And remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, or give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video.